I'm meteorologist Melissa Nor with the 11 Alive Storm Trackers. This is one of those days where you want to be weather aware of what's coming into our area as we head into the evening, overnight, and first thing Thursday morning. Right now, there's not a lot happening on radar outside. A couple of spotty light showers in the north side of the metro. A few thunderstorms right on the South Carolina and Georgia state line. They're up in uh, Rabin County, and that's where there is just across the state line in Alabama a severe thunderstorm warning. But we're looking out towards increasing storm chances overnight tonight. Clouds have been building in over the last couple of hours early in this afternoon. There's a severe thunderstorm watch just northeast of our area. These thunderstorms over Tennessee are likely going to target more between Asheville and also the Greenville area and Spartanburg, but a few of those might clip later this afternoon northeast Georgia. And then we'll watch these storms developing up near St. Louis. So big storm complex is ahead of a cold front, and those storm complexes bring us a greater risk of rain, thunderstorms, and even the chance of some severe weather. This this is a brand new outlook from the Storm Prediction Center updated just about 30 minutes ago. It still has that level four threat of severe weather that stretches from central Tennessee back into Missouri. But as we zoom in, you can see that in the Atlanta area and North Georgia area, we've actually upped our risk of severe weather with that main threat being damaging winds, also some hail and a low chance of a tornado as well. So they have brought that level three threat all the way down to about northern Floyd County, the kind of Pickens and uh, Cherokee kind of county lines there and up through the northeast Georgia mountains level two threat for the north side of the metro and then along and south of I-20. It's a level one threat of severe weather that's for this overnight into early Thursday morning. Now we have multiple waves of thunderstorms coming in here over the next several days. First, I want to show you an overview, then we'll pinpoint a little closer of tonight's round of thunderstorms. Big picture on the forecast track. Isolated showers and storms this afternoon develop, but the main cluster of storms that'll come into play overnight tonight. So this evening, isolated storms possible. Anything that develops could be severe, but it's these waves of more widespread rain and thunderstorm activity that'll bring that greater damaging wind threat for us. The first of which coming in overnight tonight through first thing tomorrow morning. As we catch a break tomorrow afternoon, the atmosphere recharges. And then as we get into tomorrow evening and overnight, potentially another round of thunderstorms coming into parts of our area, especially south of I-20. So the first wave comes in tonight, mainly after midnight. This afternoon, isolated showers, a few thunderstorms may develop. Anything that develops is going to be moving into an environment where it could be strong or severe with some gusty winds. So that's what we're looking out for this afternoon and evening. Here's 8 o'clock showing not a lot on the map, but anything that moves into our area could be strong or severe. 11 o'clock tonight, the line starts to move in. You notice while you're asleep tonight, we see a lot of the rain and thunderstorm activity pushing in. So have a way to get warnings while you are asleep in the overnight period. Forecast track tomorrow morning, more of these showers and storms are moving through. And then as we get into the afternoon tomorrow, some breaks before that next wave potentially moves in tomorrow overnight into early on Friday morning. So it's really an active period that we're entering. Again, we have a level one, two and three threat across parts of our area for tonight. Then for tomorrow, it's a level two threat across the Atlanta area. This map will be updated in the next 15 minutes. We'll have another version of that coming up for you today just before two o'clock outside right now. You can see the cloud cover, those breezy winds there at our live camera in Rome. But for the moment, most of us are dry across North Georgia. 78 is where we stand right now in Atlanta. It's 82 in Athens where we've seen a bit more sunshine today. Just 70 up in Clayton with rain cooled air in the distance. You see Truist Park right there in the distance. We do have another 721st pitch tonight against the Red Sox. I think the game is going to start OK, but as we get towards the tail end of thing, that chance of an isolated shower thunderstorm starts to get introduced into the area. So I don't think the game's going to be a washout, but as fans are getting out, we'll track some of those isolated showers and storms. The better chance of rain comes in, though, after your home overnight tonight. So again, storms coming in overnight tonight. There's a few different rounds over the next several days. Have a way to get warnings while you are asleep. That is the main thing to say about this. We'll have damaging winds potentially, an isolated tornado or some hail reports also possible. After we track this rain and thunderstorm activity out of the area, though, which again, it's clearing out Friday morning. Mother's Day weekend looks really nice. We have a drop in temperatures, drop in humidity and sunshine coming back without a chance of rain over the weekend. Highs will be in the mid 70s over the weekend. Early next week, we're back in the chance of a few showers late on Tuesday with highs in the upper 70s.